What's good? Today I wanted to share a story. Um, it just happened to me in the past week. It was fairly intense, so I want to get it out now while it's still quite fresh. So, yeah. Um, so I've been working on a voiceover, um, voiceover job. Right? It's been hectic. Right? I've been doing a lot of voiceovers, um, a lot of dubbing. Um, over existing videos, right? So basically what that means is they give me a video, there was information, well, there was words on the video. I needed to basically replace those words with my own voice. But there were a lot to do, a lot. I think, um, yeah, it was, it was a heavy amount. So in my mind, the way, like if I just gave you a, a quick insight into the way my brain thinks, I can almost imagine my mind to be like a boardroom. And in this boardroom are a bunch of people all look like me, right? It's all me, right? But it's just various parts of me. And it's like, I've got the really deep overthinking me. I've got the reflective me. I've got the hardworking me. I've got the more passive me who still wants to get stuff done, but in a different way. Um, I have uh, the procrastinator, like lazy version of me, right? So there's a bunch of these people all in the room and they're all trying to just get work done. They tend to have an easy time um this is me just self-reflecting they tend to have an easy time telling that lazy person just to stay in their place until they need it right so that's just how i how i think i work now usually it's easy for me to get through tasks and for me to work and for me to say yeah no, i want to do more i want to get more done i want to be extra productive right um but for the first time since starting up with voiceovers the client um said can you do more are you able to do more voiceovers and i was like dang you want me to do more than i, said, I think i'd done three at the time and they were like you want me i was like you want me to do more than three in a day they're like yo yeah we need like can you get like 10 done <laughs> like maybe 20 and i was like whoa, whoa, whoa a day um and instantly like something happened in me because it's not it's not often that someone comes to me with more work than i can handle it's it's rare it's very rare um especially just because i'm so quick with the voiceovers i can get one done now very very quickly but because it took me longer to get a voiceover done i think now with the overdubs it's maybe an hour maybe an hour and a half i had this weird feeling inside that i'd never gotten before if i had to add on the analogy that i gave you about the different me sitting in a room I can almost imagine that there was another person that walked into the room and I didn't quite know who this person was. It still looked like me, but another person walked into the room and just sat at the table. And it's weird because everybody else was just like, okay, cool, we've got bigger things to worry about than this new person, this new character that's entered into the room. The new character sits there. I sort of was like, yeah, and I can handle that. Like, maybe not 20, maybe not 10, but I can try and push. Let me see how far I can push. They're like, how many can you do? And I was like, and I just blurted out, I think six or seven that I can get done in a day, which is a lot considering each one was taking me about an hour and a half to do. So instantly I kicked into um, do mode. I just started working. I was working overtime, overdrive. I was working deep into the night, early mornings, um, trying to knock out as many of these as I could and sending it through. And it was decent money. And I was even like calculating. I was like, man, if I keep going at this space, I'm going to get to the end of the month and it's going to be amazing. Um, I just need to go, right? And for me, it's like, go, 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 go. I can go. I've got energy. I can just, I can do it. I know I can. After day three, I remember day three. Day three was, I think it was a Friday night. It was past last week when we, uh, I remember Chelsea was playing that day. And I remember I was like, Chelsea, they're playing on Friday night. It's not usual that they play Premier League games on Friday night. So I was like, look, I'm going to punctuate my day with the match. Right at the end of the, the, the day, I'm going to go watch the game, guilt-free. So the day starts. And I remember I'd been doing maybe four or five each day. And on this day, I was like, I'm going to push for more. I pushed and I pushed and I pushed. I got to the almost the end of the sixth one. And I told myself, I'm going to finish the sixth one at half time in those 15 minutes. And I just remember thinking to myself, yo, you're doing a lot. Like, this is a lot. But I was congratulating. It was like in a congratulatory way. I was happy with the volume of work that I was getting done. Um, Friday, I worked through the day. I got to like the afternoon, sort of slow down a little bit. I continued to work. And then I had that little bit of editing that I needed to do at halftime. Now, 
I went just before the game. I got myself a drink. I sat down and relaxed. And I watched the first half. Get to the end of the first half. I'm like, oh, you know, it's chilled. Everything's going well. I'm enjoying myself. Um, then I went but to the computer, I just edited, and those half time is 15 minutes. I edited for 15, must have been for 20 minutes. No, it was for 20, about 25 minutes I edited because I came back and it was already into the second half. I think maybe five to 10 minutes had gone on the second half. And I was like, well, now I'm done for the day. I'd done about six, maybe seven voiceovers that day. Went and got myself another one. I sat down in front of the TV, guilt-free. I was happy, 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 happy about what I had done. Watched the game, ended the game, and I was good. I got to the end of the game and I looked at the time. It was 10.45, must have been coming to 11. And I looked at it and I was like, hey man, I can do another hour of work after this. My team is one, I'm happy, I'm here. You know, I can do more, right? And at that moment, I can just imagine those people in my mind, those, that analogy I was using earlier, they all chilled. Even the hardworking person, whoever it was, all those people in my brain, they were all just chilled out. They were all sitting by the table, maybe sharing a pizza or something like that. And they were just, you know, having a good time. And there was that one person, the overthinking one, who was like, but guys, we can do a little bit more work before bedtime. And then everybody just stopped and looked. And even for me, I had this weird feeling where I was like, huh, maybe I can do more. I've got some time. Let me not waste my time. At that moment, that person that I told you about that walked into the room and just sat down, that I didn't know who they were, then like looked forward, looked around the room, cleared their throat <clears throat> and said maybe just maybe you don't want this as much as you said that you wanted it and then i just like i had this i'm sure you have you ever like been punched in the stomach where you just you look at it and you're like yo i was so i told myself i was prepared to work so hard for this and here I am in a place where I'm feeling absolutely guilt-free. I didn't want to do anything else. I had time that I could have been productive. And I told my, I had built it up in my head that I was such a hard worker and that I could even do even more that night to get even more done, to push forward and closer towards my goals. But I told myself, maybe you just don't want it as much as you say you do. That was a, it was a kick in the stomach. I was like, but this is not me. Right, and I don't know who that person is. You can call him self doubt, you can call him I don't know. I don't know. Um, it wasn't it wasn't a healthy thought at the time. I know it wasn't because I was in my relaxed mode. And if I can't relax, I can't recharge. And if I can't recharge, I'm useless the next day. So yeah. I ended up actually I tried. I went and I did like forty minutes of bogus work. It was silly stuff. I wasn't even like fully in it. Um and I think I even had to scrap some of it the following day. But I remember thinking to myself, like, yo, is that my limit? Is that as far as I go? Um, obviously, after some rest and stuff, I was able to knock myself out of that feeling and just get to a place where I felt healthy again. But it was just, it was heavy to see that my capabilities didn't match what I thought they would. It sucked. It really, it really hurt me at that moment. Um, and it made me think like I did some heavy journaling I did some heavy reflection after that and it made me see just what I wanted what I was willing to do to get what I wanted what I had done basically I needed to stack up all the wins that I had before and just let myself know exactly what it was that I had achieved before and where this was all going um, I had some chats with some people and I sort of came to a conclusion of where I needed to be um, basically come the end of the year and yeah it was it was it was heavy so i think that more people go through that moment than what you know what we let we let on where we say we want to do something we're just like yo i want to get that thing done i want to lose this weight i want to do that i want to get this job done but we kind of just like Either you defeat yourself before you even begin, which is, I mean, it's not something that I have to deal with often, 
I'm showing various parts of my life I have to deal with it, but it's not something that I have to go through a lot where I'm, I just defeat myself before I even begin. Usually when I say I'm going to do something, I get it done. And if I can't do it, I try again. And if I can't do it, I try again until I'm laying on the floor and I've got nothing left. And then, you know, but sometimes, you know, that's not that brute force mentality of just go, 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 go until, you know, the thing gets done. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. Sometimes you fail on your face and you gain nothing from it. So, um, yeah, I kind of had to just accept that, that um, in that particular instance, I just got to the end, but I just got there. It's not like I had extra left over. I just got there. I just managed to finish what I needed to finish. Um, it was sad for me, but it's just how it is. So, yeah, um, after a bit of rest, I did feel good. And, yeah, I was able to move on. So, yeah, um, I just wanted to share that. Uh, I don't know. It might make sense for you. It might be something that you relate to. But, yeah, um, let me know your thoughts. <laughs>